told me a few years ago you said right i'm gonna i think it was maybe 2018 and i think you said actually you told me in 2014 you said giles because you were you were amateur then and you said look giles i just want to get my pro card and i want to step on the olympia stage once then you had all that hassle which basically lost you four years yeah you know so um and you know and now you know there you are uh, you mentioned that hassle. You mentioned that four years. Imagine the dials. I mean, if if that then four years is a big number for a bodybuilding career. It could have been you it's, and Flex going at it all those years. Big time, mm. big time. So and everybody. So that's the that's the problem with this federation. Uh, um, do you know the the pro elite? They, they they actually ruined my life. I will never forgive them for that because whatever they said, whatever they've done. It's a rumor. It's a it's 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 a, it's a lie because, like what actually like what they're trying to do now, with the pro league with the, with with Wayne Demilio or whatever Wayne Demilio trying but after their boat is sunk they're trying to get somebody else to bring drama to bring rumors because they are actually mafia. I'll tell you now. I know a lot about them and I know exactly what they're trying to do. Uh, because they, they 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 rely on the Olympic Committee and all all this is said oh we are on doping control oh, we water. are under water the water yeah, bullshit wasn't that, it yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. When, when when that thing has happened to me uh, Mr Jim Manning he doesn't know who I am mm-hmm. he doesn't know me when I explained to him he said okay we will have a meeting Jim uh, Raphael came to the Arnold we had a meeting he tried to help me he doesn't know who I am. He said, and he said to J- Rafael, he said, I need to see Kamaru's paperwork. Where, where, where is his paperwork to see that he's done? Till today, he's never, ever sent R- any paperwork. Still, still. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. He's, I remember he told him, oh, forget about Kamal mm. because it's WADA. WADA will stop you. Everything he said, <laughs> we've got nothing to do with WADA. He told him, he's got nothing to do with, with IFP Pro League. He's got nothing to do with WADA. Why is it? But the rules. When you are an amateur, you have to go through the amateur, from the amateur to the IFBB Pro League. So he was following the rules. Mm. As Jim, Ma- uh, Jim Manning, he was following the rules 100%. They the one, they break the rules. They the one with WADA. It's happened to me, Giles. One year, I don't want to w- wear one year. Uh, that's the early when I started competing for Qatar. I was like using some stuff. As you know, in England, there is no dubbing control. There is no testing, whatever. Yep. So I came from England to compete for Qatar. And I've told the Qatari team, uh, the manager uh, there, I said, hey, I've been using stuff. It's not going to come out just like in one day. He said, don't worry about it. They paid 10000 for me. Now I will tell it now in front of everyone, especially in your <laughs> podcast now. Yep. They paid 10000 for me and 10000 for Ali Tabrizi to pass, to go someone else, to go to the room. And to give the urine for wow. us to be, okay. yes, wow. for us to be clean. So yeah. who is the corrupt here? Who's the corrupt here? Yeah. Ooh, you, yeah. Yeah. you, yeah. or whatever. And it's not even that. Even more with Adel Fahim is like you know, it's 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 like every shows that he goes to wherever. Even Libya. I'll tell you for me when he comes. I did because I did three shows in Libya. He rings. Hey, make sure you um you get me an iPhone and SIM cards ready to whatever. So he's asking, we give money, we get him the phone, we give him. They are so cheap. Mm-hmm. They cannot run the federation. They rely on the Olympic committee. The ticket was going to give, you know, you know, one more thing. That's Adel Fahim. I mean, I'm not against him, whatever, but the corrupt they do and what they've done to me, he was, he was employed by the Qatar Olympic committee under the, our federation, the IFB federation mm-hmm. employed to get a salary from them. Wow. There's his motive. It's how corrupt they are. Mm. And they now they come out and they say, we are this, we are that. Now they're trying to get Wayne D'Amelia here to push because their boat is sunk to do anything to get their boat out with the drama, with like sexual and all bullshit and everything is lies and there's nothing, there's nothing there about it. And then when, when, when Adel Fahim is like, he, he's the one he's trying to push in our federation, you know, with the Pro League, because it's gone so big. It's so big. They're mm. jealous for that. And I was like, in our countries, in the Arab countries, Adel Fahim, he gets involved. So he calls the Olympic Committee, oh, don't let this federation, these, they use drugs, these, they use this. 
And because the guys, they are actually the Ministry of Sport in Libya or wherever in other countries, they don't know what's going on. So they will try their best to stop this federation. So I told the other Fahim the other day, I was talking in Arabic. I said, why you don't tell Rafael he's going in Spain this year at the calendar of the NPC, 25 shows of the IFBB Pro League, Go and stop them first in your country, mm-hmm. and then we stop them in our countries, in the Arab countries. Why you don't tell him that? Because he cannot. He doesn't want to lose his chair. The only things he's thinking about, his own chair. He doesn't think about the athletes. He doesn't think about anything. He only, his chair, how much he can grab, how much he can do. If, if he thinks that's wrong, tell him, come on out and face me. Adi Fahim or Rafael, come out and face me and tell me I'm wrong or I'm lying. I will face you anytime where you want, anywhere you want. Because what you've done, and I know exactly what you've been doing. I know exactly the Rolex watches you've been taking. Oh, man, I know a lot, Giles. These kind of things will take ages, <laughs> ages yeah. to talk about. Yeah. And then I will tell you one thing, and then I will, we will, we will split because I don't want to waste my time with them anymore. Um, if they think about the athletes or if they're thinking about the IFPP, I have been pro elite. We know is the Olympia is a private company, correct? Mm-hmm. It's a private, different business. The Olympia, we know, everybody knows the Olympia has been for sale for a while. Until Jake Wood came and Bura and Tangari came and Bura. Why you, Rafael, and Adel Fahim, and you're saying we are and with, under Olympic committees, under 170 or 160 countries, we are the strongest. We are. Why you didn't buy the Olympia? Hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.